chip is broken. Just a little Guilty Gear humor to start things off. Doesn't really matter what fighting game you play for this video. Just talking. I haven't done one of these in a while. How are you? How have you been? Are my shoulders still, like, beefy? Beefy? I want to talk about something that, uh, in my lessons I talk about a lot with almost every student. Because it's something that happens to almost every person. It's this thing that I like to call the plateau. Where you just kind of don't feel like you're getting any better. You don't really feel like you're getting any worse. You're just kind of stuck in this rut, you know? You're struggling with the same things and you're, you're landing the same combos and blah, 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 blah. And I mean, you don't even have to really relay this to fighting games either. This could be like work stuff, school stuff. You know, there's just this, sometimes you just get to this place where it's just like, man, I'm just stuck. Like, I'm just stuck in this one level. I can't seem to figure out how to get past it. And unfortunately, for a lot of things, that leads to people giving up. I've seen it happen quite a bit, especially in fighting games, because the a little bit more prevalent there. Um, but you know, and other things too, that they just get to this one point, they struggle and struggle and struggle. Or maybe they don't even struggle for that long, and they're just like, I just don't feel like being here. I don't feel like being at this this point in my progression. So they just quit. See ya. Wouldn't want to be ya. <laughs> but I can tell you from experience, having been to that plateau numerous times, um, that you gotta stick it out. You gotta just roll with it. You have to understand. Understanding where that you're at that point is really, really important. Because otherwise you're gonna get really frustrated like I did the first time I reached it. And I was like, what the frick? What the frick? Why am I not getting any better? Why, why am I not getting better at what I'm trying to do here? But I promise you, if you stick with it, you're gonna find one small thing. One small thing. Sometimes it's a big thing, but I find most of the time it's not. It's a small thing. Um, and it just changes one little thing. And you're like, huh. If I do this but what if I try doing this from now on this situation and then that's gonna open up something else and then bam 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 you're on your way back up to the top improving in fighting games is, is tough it's, it's it's unique in its own way I don't want to say it's better than any other genre because I haven't played like too much of MOBAs or FPS shooters that seriously you know so I don't I can't say it's harder than any certain genre maybe some of you guys that have played those are more professional level than me could maybe post down there in the comments what you think about where fighting games kind of fits as far as the other genres go but uh yeah improving in fighting games is is like the art of actually improving itself like the pace at which you go isn't super important right like in once you kind of get to these certain levels it's kind of transferable through most fighting games there's just some things that uh that uh, are maybe unique to that game. Like for example, Guilty Gear has their Roman cancels. Uh, it sounded really intimidating to me at first to try and learn about, about it because it's something I'm totally different. And once I kind of learned about it, I was like, oh, it's the same as EXing a move in MKX or meter burning it in MK11. That's just what they call it in their version of how that mechanic works. And that's kind of how you take these fundamentals from different fighting games and kind of, kind of, transfer one from one game to another and that's why i think fighting games are super fun and, and again i'm sure this is prevalent with other genres too from you go to one fps game to another to another another one moba one battle royale to another to another to another but uh and if you kind of wire your brain that way you can find it so much fun to play all these other fighting games you know even ones that seem totally different from mortal kombat like soul Calibur, you still got things like whiff punishing neutral Footsies, stage awareness is a big thing in that game. So, and then playing other fighting games will actually help you understand more in your main game, assuming it's Mortal Kombat or whatever your main game is. And that's why it's kind of nice to explore and play different fighting games. But if you've only played one fighting game before, like say an NRS game in this case, if you want to try another fighting game, like I said, just have that mindset and wired in your head of, you know, what, uh, how do I view this as this? And then bang, your brain triggers it. And then you're gonna up and up and up and up you go. Until you hit that plateau. <laughs> it doesn't matter the game, you're gonna hit the plateau. So, but uh, yeah, it really discourages me to see people walk away from these things, especially at, like, cause I empathize with them. I, I see exactly where they, I've been there. I've been there myself numerous times. It sucks, I hate it. 
If it's your first time there, it's extremely frustrating. Persevere through it. You will get past it. You will get better. And then you'll be more prepared for the next time that you hit that plateau. Because it's like a mountain, you know? Climbing up, plateau, climbing up, plateau, coming up, plateau. You know, cue that uh, yodeling music from that, that boomer show, whatever it's called. You know, the one we all watched when we were homesick? <laughs> ah, that was the days. I think that's all I have to say. I've missed doing these kind of videos where I just sit down and I talk. I just let my brain just go... Pick a topic and I just talk. Not super edited, I'm not super clean. I cut here and there if I have a brain fart and I just sit here like... But I like just talking to you guys. I think uh, most people that watch these videos kind of enjoy it too. So, get out there, get past that plateau, play some Mortal Kombat, play some Guilty Gear, play whatever you find fun. But at the end of the day, if you find it fun, it's way easier to get past that. Way easier. Try a different fighting game. There's one on sale, buy it. Even if it's something you might not be super interested in. If you've only played like NRS games or you've only played Injustice or something like that, just give it a shot. You might like it. You never know. <laughs>